going on guys? We're back for another video. You seem to like the last one, so we thought we'd get in and get another one uploaded as soon as possible. Today we've got a Touareg that it's not massively dirty, however on closer inspection there's some fine swirls in the paint, so we're going to try and remove some of them. By no means am I saying that I'm a detailer, but being a car enthusiast I've got a rough idea and God knows how many products to uh, hopefully work some magic on this. I don't own this car, it's for a friend, he's dropped it off. All social distancing measures have been put in place, um, so don't get in the comments moaning at me. However, um, we'll have a quick look around this now and uh, show you some bad parts. Also, I'm not wearing a hat today. In the last video, you'll have noticed that I had a hat on in every single shot. That's because I've got a Corona cut going on, but it's slowly growing back, um, so I haven't got to hide it up as much anymore. Anyway, let's have a quick look around at this paint. So as you can see, there's a layer of dirt and dust sitting on top of that paint. We're gonna try and remove as much of that as possible now before we make contact with the paint itself. Now that the vehicle's rinsed off, we're gonna go around with Auto Finesse Citrus Power. This is a bug and grime remover. Again, we're gonna try and get as much grit and grime off of the vehicle before we come into contact with it. We're gonna get some fallout remover on the wheels just to remove any brake dust. This is a product that everyone loves. It's the one that turns all the brake dust purple, as you can see here. The top tip for when you're snow foaming, always fill your Lance bottle with water before you add your product. That way it doesn't all foam up straight away. The snow foam we're using is Juicy Details Arctic Wipeout. Now we're gonna apply the snow foam, allowed to dwell, but not to dry. A lot of people think a snow foam should sit on the paint really, really thick and heavy, but it should actually slowly fall off the paint as it is here. And this is to pull anything that's on the paint itself off. Whilst the snow foam's on their dwelling, we like to get the Auto Finesse Citrus Power again out and just go around these window rubbers with a hog hair brush just to remove anything that's caught within the rubber itself. Whenever you're jet washing your vehicle, always start from the top down again as we keep repeating, this is to remove any grime that is on the vehicle from the top down to the bottom. You don't want to be bringing anything from the bottom up the paint. Now that we've decontaminated the car as much as possible, we've got our two buckets set up to do the two bucket method. In there we've got our grit guards and we're just going to fill with Auto Finesse's lather shampoo. What I mean by the two bucket method is We've got our wash and we've got our rinse. So we come into the wash, work one panel at a time, then into the rinse to get any grit. That grit guard catches that. Back into the wash and then restart a new panel. Once you finish shampooing, starting from the top down to remove all the suds. We've rinsed the shampoo off. We go around and pay close attention to the wheels with various wheel brushes and mitts. Now using a drying towel, simply dry panel by panel. Now we're dry, there's actually a real nice depth to the paint. However, there is some scratches and some marring. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, we're going to do our best to remove as much as possible. As I said earlier, I'm no detailer. However, we're going to give it a go and see what we can do. The sun's come out and it's got pretty hot, so we're going to stick it under this gazebo. You never want to work on a vehicle in direct sunlight. Now that we've got the front of the vehicle in the shade, we're going to clay bar from the front working backwards. As we move back, we'll move the vehicle through the gazebo itself so it's never in direct sunlight. I'm going to get Georgia to help me clay bar because I don't like it. More hands makes for lighter work or whatever the saying is, you know what I mean. So, uh, right, we'll show you how the uh, clay barring process goes. So, all you need is a small ball. Start to knead it out so it's nice and flat like so. You can get clay lube, however I don't have any. 
So uh, a quick detail is fine. Spray the actual clay itself and then the area you're going to be working and simply just rub over the surface. You use clay just to pull any small bits of grime um, out of the paintwork itself that you wouldn't see. I'll show you in a little while, this clay was clean. Just doing this small little surface, I'm already getting fine little black marks that I've pulled out of that paint. So, as you go, once you get to a new new surface, knead it again, getting rid of them grimy bits within the uh, clay. Always make sure it's nice and lubricated and work again. Once you've gone over it with your clay, simply just buff off. Just gone over the driver's wing and the clay bar is absolutely filthy. That's why we clay it. Although to look at the panel itself, it looks clean, the clay bar is filthy. So we're going to change this bit of clay up and continue doing the rest of the car before we go over with the DA. Okay, so we've got the product on the pad. What I like to do is just stamp out the area that I'm working. Put it on a low speed. That just gets the product evenly dispersed across the part of the panel that we're going to work. Now I'm going to turn it up to four and slowly work through the panel. Now we've refined the paintwork as much as we can. We're going to work with Auto Finesse's Triple. Um, we've got it on a soft pad on the DA. You can do this by hand, but I just find it a little bit quicker this way. Okay, so I've done as much as I possibly can now with the paint. Um, where we've been polishing, we've got a bit of residue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back out, just jet it over, and then we're going to seal it. Just jetted the vehicle off, and we're seeing pretty good results already with the water beading off from the products that we've already used there earlier on in this uh, wash. However, we're going to top it up now with Auto Finesse's newest product, this there, Lavish Ceramic Foam. You use this the same as, well, when I say use this, you apply this the same as a snow foam. So you put this in your snow foam lance um, and then jet it off and it seals the paintwork. So I'm quite excited to use this. Thanks very much, James, for sending this over. So let's get this on the car and see the results. And as quick as that, we've covered the car with the ceramic foam. We're now gonna jet it off again, top to bottom. Um, and then dry this again with the towel method. Okay, that's the car complete. There is a few little bits and pieces that we forgot to video that we've done, um, but like I've said numerous times in this video, I am not a detailer. Uh, but I think that the results that we've got is pretty good. We've spent a little while on it. If you enjoyed this video with us cleaning, there's actually another vehicle here that I'll show you quickly. As you can see, it's really faded red. It's gone a bit pink. Um, I think it'd be quite interesting to see if we could get that red to come back through. So if you want to see that, let us know in the comments below. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe.